Cerritos and the surrounding communities of the ABC Unified School District are known for its great schools. If you are moving to any of the surrounding communities in or out of the ABC Unified School District, here's what you need to know about schools of choice. Come on and let's move. Aloha and welcome to my channel. I'm Jody Linogawa with Ohana Homes. I'm a realtor in Cerritos, California and their surrounding communities in LA and Orange counties. I post new videos every week on real estate and real stories in our community. One reason we relocated to Cerritos was for the great schools. As parents, we really wanted to find the best schools for our three kids and Schools of Choice was a great option for us. ABC Schools of Choice is a lottery open to students both in and out of the school district so that they can have their choice of attending another school other than their home school. In this video, you'll learn schools you can apply for, how to apply for Schools of Choice, how applications are ranked, and the lottery system. Watch to the end, we added a few helpful tips to boost your lottery results. Number one, schools. ABC Unified School District has 10 preschools, 19 elementary schools, 5 middle schools, 5 high schools, and 1 adult school. ABC USD serves over 21,000 students in K-12. In the map of the district boundaries, you'll see it includes the schools of Cerritos, Artesia, Hawaiian Gardens, plus portions of Lakewood, Long Beach, and Norwalk. Schools of Choice is open to parents and guardians who reside in and out of the school district. Schools of Choice is available for the 19 elementary schools, five middle schools, three high schools, and it doesn't include Tracy and Whitney High School. Whitney High School is well known and ranks in the top three of California high schools. Here's a real estate pro tip. Homes in certain school boundaries are more popular than others, so their home values tend to be higher. Homes located in the three C's, which stand for Cerritos Elementary School, Carmenita Middle School, and Cerritos High School are higher in demand due to their collective ranking. Here's the high school attendance zones. Cerritos High School is in green, Gar High School in blue, and Artesia High School in tan. Here's the middle school attendance zones. Carmenita in green, Ross in blue, Haskell in yellow, Tetzloff in pink, and Fed in tan. Those elementary schools, those in the top right of the map, Cerritos is in pink, Gonzales is in green, and Stowers in purple have a higher ranking. In addition, because they overlap with the popular Cerritos High School and Carmenita Middle School, they're also high in demand. Leo Elementary School in yellow is also high in demand because it's ranked high and it's in the Cerritos High School boundary and in close proximity to the gated community of Shadow Park. As a parent, you know your child best and what learning environment would best support them. Ranking isn't everything. There are so many other factors to consider like class size, school size, student teacher ratio, demographics, testing, and special needs programs. Here are some useful school review websites, greatschool.org, schooldigger.com, and usnews.com. Most of the schools have magnet programs that they specialize in that your child may find interesting. Some of the schools have certain sports, music programs, theater programs, clubs, or after school, school programs that might be a good fit for your child. I'm a mom of three kids and at many times I had three different schools. So the start and end times plus the locations for easy pickups and drop-offs were important to me when I applied for schools of choice. Number two, how to apply. Mark your calendars now. Schools of Choice applications begin on March 1st and ends on March 31st for the following school year for which you are applying. For example, if you have a 6th grader and you want to apply for 7th grade, you'll need to apply for their spot in March of their 6th grade year. If your child is accepted through Schools of Choice into a school, their spot for that School of Choice will be good so they don't have to reapply every single year. For elementary, their acceptance is good through 6th grade for middle through eighth grade, and for high school through 12th grade. Here's a few parent pro tips. If March 1st falls on a holiday or weekend, the portal will open on Monday at 12 midnight. Can you believe there are ABC employees at work at midnight when the portal opens to make sure everything goes smoothly? Even though the portal opens at midnight, you don't have to submit your application 
and be the first online. Submitting early will not give you a higher priority. You could submit your application on March 1st or March 31st. It really doesn't help your ranking. I confess I was the extra parent who stayed up till midnight to submit our kids' applications. And by the time I got to my third kid, I still stayed up till midnight because I was so excited to apply. I know some of you are gonna do the same thing. Here is the website where you will apply. The application will only be available after the School of Choice portal opens. And when does it open? March 1st. Number three, application ranking. What I love about ABC is they're very open about their Schools of Choice process. Prior to March, they will have multiple well-attended events, like hundreds of people, and they're gonna explain the process and application ranking. The staff are also friendly when you call and ask questions, like I'm sure they get the same questions over and over again, but they're really friendly and helpful, so give them a call if you have questions. The application ranking is categorized in four groups, and within those groups, the applicant is given a ranking from one to eight. Group one are for residents in ABC. Parents or guardians that live in ABC are given the highest priority. Number one ranking is for a sibling status. This is for applicants of students that will continue attending the school. For example, when my daughter was entering sixth grade, her brother was entering kindergarten. So when we applied, his ranking was number one. A number two ranking is for all other residents in ABC. This includes students who are in specialized programs. In my last example, if my daughter had already completed the sixth grade, her brother would not have been given the number one sibling status ranking when he entered kindergarten. Instead, he would have been given the number two ranking. The average home prices in ABC varies greatly depending on which city you live in. If you buy or rent before March 31st, you can apply for the next school year. Again, watch to the end for some helpful tips. Group number two, these are for students of permanent ABC employees. A number three ranking is for sibling status, and a number four ranking are for continuing students who are transitioning to middle school, which is seventh grade, or high school, which is ninth grade. Group number three are for inter-district permits. Inter-district means outside of the ABC school district. For example, this could mean Los Alamitos, Long Beach, Norwalk, La Mirada, Whittier, or any other school district. A ranking of five is, giving, is given for sibling status, and a ranking of six are for continuing students who are transitioning to middle school for seventh grade or high school for ninth grade. Here's a helpful tip. If you're not in the district, there's a section where you need to upload the permit. If you don't have it, ABC advises that you upload something so you can just continue the process. For example, if you have a copy of the permit application, you can upload that. The permits will be checked at a later date. Group number four are for new students. A number seven ranking will be given to students of permanent ABC employees, and a number eight ranking will be given to students requesting an inter-district permit, meaning it's their first time into the district. Number four, the lottery system. When you apply, you have up to four choices and will list them in priority from one being the highest to four being the lowest. But here's a helpful tip. You don't have to use all four choices. If you have no intention of attending a certain school, don't put it down because you could get that school and it'll hurt your chances for another one that you really want. If you aren't sure which school of choice to choose yet, don't rush and submit your application. It's hard to change your choices after you click submit. So remember, you have until March 31st to complete it. Make the most of your options. Review the school enrollment for available spacing prior to applying. The lottery is run on May 1st. By 10 a.m. on May 1st, start looking for that first email. Those who have been accepted into their school of choice will receive an acceptance email, and it's super exciting. This is important. Mark your calendar on May 1st to begin checking your email. If you've been accepted, you only have 48 hours to accept. If you don't accept within the allotted time, your acceptance is automatically declined by the system and your spot's gonna open up to the next person on the wait list. So make sure to check those emails. If you're on the wait list, continually check your email because you may receive an acceptance email anytime through May 31st. 
the Schools of Choice process ends on June 1st. If you don't get into your school of choice, you'll have to enroll in your home school. Good luck when applying. If you'd like to learn more about moving to the ABC School District, give me a call. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time we post new videos on real estate and real stories in our community.